This video explains how to complete the Summary of Course SLO Assessment Results, which is also known as SLO 5-Step Model. You can obtain all the forms you need by going to the goldenwestcollege.edu website, and we've created a separate video with details of how to find these forms you see on the screen now, the forms for program level SLO, and all the information about your major, your program, SLOs. That video is called How to Locate SLO Information and Forms. We're going to start by going to the top of the form, and this form on the right has the directions in each step so that it explains what you need, and we will be going back and forth between this form with the directions, and then we have a sample form on the left here with the sociology class. We will go ahead and start with the example form. So you see under department here we have sociology. The course number is the like G185. The course title is analysis of social problems. And then you also put in when you gathered the data. So the data for this form was collected in fall 2012. And then now this next section is important. It's what the course maps to. So first of all, for the institutional SLOs, if you look at the alignment Excel spreadsheet that was done for your department, you'll see the courses listed, the specific institutional SLOs that it maps to. The next one is transfer major. As I mentioned before, transfer majors are listed on that goldenwestcollege.edu site. And then Certificate of Achievement, if you do have a certificate in your department, you would also, in this area, you would want to uh, include what the title of those are. And then Area of Emphasis, which ones? This course is within the Area of Emphasis of Social Sciences, so you see that listed here. It also is a general ed class, and you see it's listed uh, in area D. It is not a basic skills uh, sequence course, so that is not marked. Once again, I refer you back to the goldenwestcollege.edu uh, website. You go to academics and then down to student learning outcomes, and you'll find all the information you need for this. Now let's go down to step one. And over here in the instructions, you see in this box, please copy and paste the SLO you are evaluating. So over in the example form, you see uh, the SLO. The student will learn how sociologists identify, acquire, and interpret data in order to understand and explain social problems. Then step two, what you write, and we'll go back to the instruction form, in this box, describe how you assessed or will assess the above SLO. For example, it could be questions on a multiple choice test, a survey, an essay test with a rubric, a capstone project, and really any assignment. It, this is very open to um, be determined by the faculty in the department. So if we come back here to the example, um, she's listed weekly written assignments examining current social problems in the U.S. and globally, for example, urban decay and unsafe living conditions in our cities. Then under the step three, this is where you place the results of your assessment. Include number of students assessed and how many obtained competency for the SLO listed in step one. So in our Example here, 85% of 60 students obtain competency. So for step four, within this step, you should explain the results of the data from step three. Describe what the numbers mean to you as faculty members teaching the course and or what this means to your department. And there's three bullets here that you can discuss in your departments. Are the students achieving and demonstrating the skills of the SLO listed in step one at an acceptable level? Is this an acceptable percentage? Why or why not? 
what are the possible factors that influence students' results, the results that are listed in step three. So we go over to our example. The students demonstrated an increased ability to analyze trends and problems in the contemporary U.S. Students also increased their awareness of basic issues and problems in relationships. The very important step is the step five. And with that step, it's what are you going to do with the information? So what planning and changes will or have occurred as the result of the assessment and analysis of data to improve student learning? Within this step, explain how you're going to use the results of the assessments to enact changes in teaching, standards, and or assessment methods. Potentially, another viable option is that students have achieved at an acceptable rate, and you will now move on to the next SLO. So, even if you are thrilled with your results, it is still good to list plans that you can do. Perhaps one plan would be that this SLO was met at such a high level to really get meaningful outcome from the, the time invested in the assessment, it may be time to move to a different SLO, or it might be time to rewrite the SLO. So we'll go back to the step five here in our example assign a more focused research paper or project to investigate solutions to current social problems. So that's what this faculty member is going to try next semester. Okay, at the bottom of this form, you type in your name and your title and the date. You, you do not have to sign your name and, um, and scan it. So it's easier, you can just go ahead and type it. The last form we will be looking at is the program SLO result. And in the first box, you copy and paste or type in the program SLO you're evaluating. In the next box, it's the method that you're going to assess. And so this is the same as we listed for the course SLO assessment, multiple choice uh, test, survey, essay test, etc. And then the next one, this is where the, you place the results of your assessments, include the number of students assessed and how many obtained competency. So if we look at our example, once again, we're looking at sociology, and we marked the top section consistent with what we did before. And then we put in one of the program SLOs, compare it and evaluate research pertaining to the broad principles of sociology. We listed the way that this was assessed, in this case, analyze social media and research papers. And then, and the percent of students, so it was 82% of 98 students, obtained competency, describe the analysis. And here we see listed that students are not doing all the assigned work and students are struggling with the magnitude of the problems. So suggestions for the uh, step five, find additional exercises and projects that reach all students, encourage greater analysis through four credit assignments, civic and community involvement. And then once again, you type in your name at the bottom and then also the date. When you've completed the assessment forms, forward the electronic version to the person coordinating SLOs in your department. And that is it. Thank you.